Hey everyone, it's Jared here, and today I'm going to talk to you about two non-boring drum fills. Now, I get a lot of emails from all my online students all around the world, and they're always telling me that they feel like they're playing the same boring fills over and over again. And so I wanted to give you some new ideas that hopefully you can input into your vocabulary, and maybe you can create your own variations of these and, you know, create some awesome non-boring drum fills. Okay, so let's get started. The first fill I want to talk to you about is using a blush duck pattern, also known as a flam drag. And we're going to be playing this starting with a left hand flam. So I'm just going to do it on my leg, nice and quiet, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so it goes left hand flam, right, right, left. And that's essentially the pattern that repeats itself over and over again within a 16th note feel. Okay, so left hand flam, right, right, left. Now if we were to count this out, it would be like this, one E and. Okay, so it's basically uh, an eighth note and one sixteenth note long. One E and. Now we continue playing this as sixteenth notes. So we start the pattern again on the ah of one. One E and. Ah, two E and. Ah, three E and. Ah, four E and. Ah. So we just end with four single strokes on four E and and ah. Okay, now once you learn the basic kind of sticking and the basic pattern, you can orchestrate it in many different ways. And I've just written for you one orchestration. And this puts the first flam, the left hand flam, on the splash cymbal or the crash cymbal and the snare drum. Then your right hand comes down for two hits on the high tom, and then your left hand hits on the snare drum. So the pattern just sounds like this. So it takes a bit to get comfortable with kind of sweeping from the splash cymbal to the high tom, but once you get it, it sounds really, really cool. So I'll play the pattern for you at 60 beats per minute and then again at 90 beats per minute. Here we go. Now this is just one way I've chose to orchestrate this pattern. You can choose to orchestrate it many, many different ways. A lot of times I'll just orchestrate it around the toms, like this. So the next drum fill I want to teach you is using the herta. Now the herta is basically two fast notes followed by two notes of half the value. And this is using single strokes, okay? So always alternating strokes. So it can be two 32nd notes followed by two 16th notes, or it can be two 16th note triplets followed by two 8th note triplets. Either way, in this pattern, we're going to be doing two 32nd notes followed by two 16th notes. So to get comfortable with this, just tap it out. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one. 
Okay, so it ends with two 30 second notes. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one. Okay, so put on the snare drum, it'll sound like this. So again, get really comfortable with that pattern and then get the sheet music and work on the orchestration. So what do I have for orchestration? Basically we're going to be using our splash cymbal again or you could use a stacker, you could use a china. I say use some sort of effect cymbal because I think it sounds really, really cool and interesting. So on the first beat we're going to be playing the splash cymbal and the kick drum on the exact same beat. Then on the second 30 second note we're going to be playing the snare drum. Okay. Then on the E we're going to be playing the high tom, and then the and, we're going to be playing the snare drum. And this pattern is just going to repeat itself until right at the end when we go to the floor tom and the snare. So really slowly, it sounds like this. So it's really quite simple when you slow it down that much. Now you can choose to do like a hi-hat bark if you don't have an, an effect symbol or something like that, but it's a really interesting sounding drum fill. So I'll play it for you guys at 60 BPM and 90 BPM to show you how it sounds. Here we go. So just like the first fill, you first want to learn the pattern on your leg or your practice pad or your snare drum and then start to work on the orchestration. Hopefully you can come up with some of your own fills, you know, your own variations based off of these ideas. So one thing I like to use with the Herda as well is just kind of spread that pattern around the drum set in different ways. You know, the only way I do it isn't with the splash symbol in this one specific way I've written. So I'll just play a little bit and show you guys how I use this thing. there you have it, two non-boring drum fills. Now if you want more lessons like these, I put out a package called Successful Drumming and it's my core curriculum and I recommend students go through it to build a solid foundation of theory and technique and it's going to help you with so many more things. It's just loaded with different tools that you can use to help you within your drumming. So I put a link right below this video to the Drumio website where you guys can check that out. If you have any questions about anything, my email is jared at drumio.com. Go ahead, test me out, send me an email. You'll definitely get one back and I can't wait to talk to you. So thanks so much for watching. See you again very soon. Thank you.